Good morning, it's another beautiful gorgeous day. There were elderly couple looking out of their window and they see how their neighbor is doing the laundry. So this story should be at least 50, 60 years old when people used to do laundry by hand and used to hang in their backyard without using any machine. So the elderly lady, she tells her husband, you know, by looking out of the window, she said, look at the young generation. They don't even know how to make a laundry. They, they wash the clothes, they hang it up, it all looks dirty, it all looks stained. So the husband didn't comment anything, didn't say anything to it. Next week again, the lady calls her husband, she, tells, she tells her, look, you know, look out of the window. You know, this young generation, they still didn't learn how to make a laundry. They wash, they wash, they hang it up, everything looks dirty. A month later, the lady, she looks out of the window, she goes, oh, Baruch Hashem, finally, now, they learn how to make a laundry. So the elderly man said, it's not that they learn how to make a laundry. I just went outside and washed our window. I washed our window clean. So that's why the laundry looks also very clean. Rabotai, most of the time, we look at other people through the dirty glass. We think it's something wrong with others, but we don't realize that it's something wrong with us. Maybe sometimes we need to clean our glasses. Sometimes you might need to wash the window that you're looking through. The habit, human habit is to judge others. We like to find faults in other person. We like to find, we like to find mistakes in another person. We have to remember, the only judge we have on this world is Hashem. That's it. There's nobody else should be judging anybody. Whether they do the job clean, non-clean, it's none of our business. The only judge we have in this world is Hashem. And Hashem even does, doesn't even judge us every day. On Yom Kippur. That's when we get judged. We try to be like Hashem. We want to take over His job. We try to judge everybody find at every minute. So before we find the faults and mistakes in another person, let's focus on ourselves. After 120, when we come to Shamaim, Hashem is not going to ask us, why didn't you fix your neighbor? Why didn't you, teach you, why didn't you change another person? Why didn't you change yourself? Why didn't you fix yourself? Why didn't you change your perspective of view of life? It's important how we, how we view another person. Where we shouldn't judge anyone. But especially now, it's three weeks. We're holding two days before Tisha B'Av. Sinat Chinam. The hatred, based on hatred started from where? From jealousy, gossiping, hating each other. We have to remember, we have to, our job is, you have to love everyone. Love, not hate, love. When uh, Hitler was destroying Jewish nation, he wasn't looking at if you Sephardi, if you Ashkenazi, if you Moroccan, if you Taimani, if you Chabad, if you Lubavitch, if you Hasidish, he didn't care. The fact that you were Jewish, Hitler was killing, destroying them. Uh, but I would like to pick, choose if you're from my tribe, are you from my culture, are you from my background? No, we're all Jews. When we pray to Hashem, we say, Anna Hashem Hoshi Anna. Hashem help us. We don't say Hashem help us only Ashkenazim, help only Sephardim, help only Moroccans, help only religious Jews, help only observant Jews. No. Anna Hashem Hoshi Anna. Hashem help us all as a team, as one family, as one group. And it's a very powerful sentence. And the same when we say, Anna Hashem Hatzlich Anna Hashem, make us successful. Us, us as one nation, one team. Not breaking up by the groups. That's exactly when Sinat Chinam starts, when we start breaking apart. I like you, I don't like you. We're all one as one family. As I was a while ago, I was driving, not such a Jewish neighborhood, Bronx, and I got a flat tire. So I'm thinking to myself, I come out in this neighborhood, doesn't even look safe to sit in a car. There's no juice to help you. I don't know how to, I have a spare tire in my back, in a trunk, I don't, I'm not so experienced in changing it. What I'm going to do, who can I ask, who could help me? You'll be surprised. I came out of the car, but I tried doing my shtadlut a few minutes later, I just see another Jew drives by. He doesn't even know me. He doesn't ask me if I'm also Ashkenazi, if I'm Sephardi. He just stops. He says, listen, I don't know how to change either, but let's do it together as a team. Let's do Ishtadut. Hashem is going to give us bracha, a blessing. 
This is Ahavat Israel, Rabotai. The guy was in rush, he was running late, he stops, wants to help. We have to help. Hashem is limit, unlimited, help us, loves us unlimited. We have to love and help others unlimited. We should not pick and choose. If I know you, I don't know you. I know the incident in Israel happened, everybody's praying. Do we know who we're praying for? No. You see, Sephard, Ashkenazi, Moroccan, Taimani? No, it doesn't matter. It's a Jew, he's in trouble, we pray. We don't know who he's in. There was an incident that happened all the way in France. They needed financial help. We didn't say, do we know the family? We don't know the family. Are we related? Are they going to thank us? Are they going to come over? We don't even know them. We just send money, want to help them, support. Because we are one family. We, each one of us is responsible for each other. This is what we need to focus, not on judging, finding faults in each other, not on hating each other. It's a one team, one family. I'll conclude with this. When you look at the human body, the way Hashem created us in human body, different parts. We have a heart, liver. Imagine if each part of the body is going to go against each other. If a liver is going to say, I don't like the heart, or a kidney is going to say, you know what, I don't like the brain. I don't like the body, and I mean, and if each one of us is going to say, I like you, I don't like you, each part of the body, the body is going to collapse. It's going to get destroyed. That's when, it's, that's when cancer starts, when your own cells go against you, against yourself. They don't get